My name is Jeffrey Carlson, an orthopedic spine surgeon at the Orthopedic and Spine Center in Newport News. As a spine surgeon and discussing surgical options with patients um, in removing their disc, removing the pressure along the nerve root in their neck or lower back, we get questions about putting in hardware. We call hardware screws and rods or plates in the cervical spine. And patients get very concerned about having metal implants put into their bodies. We do that quite commonly in knee and hip replacements. And there's not a lot of confusion about what that means, replacing a knee, replacing a hip, and replacing those bad pieces that are there. We put in a ball, a ball and a socket to replace a hip. We put in motion segments in a knee to allow the metal and plastic to move in the knee. Similar things happen in the lumbar spine. So we're putting in screws and rods to hold the bones together. The purpose behind putting in hardware or screws and rods in the lumbar spine or a plate in the cervical spine is to provide stability to the bones. When the discs and are removed, the bones can move abnormally. So you don't want to have the bone shifting and moving or grinding and causing pain or, light, or later dysfunction or later pressure along the nerve roots. So having that process happen again where you're pinching the nerve root. So putting in the screws and rods after you've taken the pressure off the nerve root prevents those bones from shifting and moving, prevents the problem from happening again. Without the stability that's there, the process, the degenerative process that happens in the lumbar spine or the cervical spine will create a disc that's pinching the nerve root again. If your surgeon looks at your MRI scans, your CAT scans, and notices that there's an instability in the bones on those studies, having just the disc removed leads to a likelihood of having to need another surgery. So the purpose behind the hardware, the screws and rods or plates, is to provide the stability to the bones after the disc is removed. You'll still be able to bend and turn and twist as you would normally. We get questions about going through metal detectors after the hardware is placed. And generally in the neck, the small plates we place in there may not show up on the metal detector uh, going through the airport or the courthouse. Uh, at the airport with these uh, x-ray scanners, of course, it will show up. The metal is generally titanium, so it's not a ferrous metal that shows up in the metal detector more commonly. We always give you a card that shows that you've got the metal in place uh, in case there are any questions when you're going through a metal detector of any sort.